Hi everyone, so today's video was a request from somebody on YouTube. I'll try and insert the clip here. And also a picture of what it is that he's trying to achieve. But it looks as though he wants to make a two coloured stencil that will line up, that he can cut in vinyl and stencil through with paint or at least that's how I've understood the request. So I'm going to be using Canvas Workspace online. You can use the downloadable version if you've got a particular font that you want to use. But for the process of the video, I'm just using the online version and I'm going to use one of the fonts that's in my Canvas Workspace. So I'm going to choose a new blank page. I'm going to come over to the text icon and I'm going to choose a font. You choose whichever font you've got within your Canvas Workspace. I'm going to use this one. So I'm just going to double click to get the flashing cursor, highlight the word text and I'm going to change this to the number 18 and hit enter on my keyboard. Now the first thing I want to do with this is ungroup or break it apart so that I can move the number one closer to the number eight because there's a big gap in the middle there and I don't think that this actually looks right. So with this selected, I'm going to right click. I can see there's no ungroup function. So I'm going to use divide. So I'm going to left click on divide. That's taken the box away. And when I click on these numbers now, they're now individual. So I'm going to select the number one and just using the four directional arrows on the keyboard, I'm going to move over the number one towards the number eight, just to close that gap until I'm just happy how it looks. I'm going to select both. I'm going to right click and make them a group. Now he wanted to make his number about 18 inches high, I think from memory. So I'm going to come to the projects tab and I'm going to change my map to a 12 by 24 mat. You can see here now I've got the 24 inch mat. The height of the design and the width of the design obviously are determined by the size of the mat that you're cutting on. So what I'm going to do, I'm just going to drag this out until it kind of nearly fills but not completely fills because I'm going to be creating an offset of this number and obviously I, that's going to make that bigger so I don't want to use up the whole um, width of my mat. Now I've dragged it out from a corner to keep it in proportion so far but this is now 10 inches wide and it's only six and a half inches high and he said he wanted it about 18 inches so I'm just going to drag this out and make it about 17, something like that. So you can see now that it's 17.4 inches high by just over 10.31 inches wide. If you've got the vinyl auto blade, you could make this in the download program and then you could chop this design up using the tiling function. But as it's a stencil, I'm guessing that it would be better if you're going to paint through it, that your stencil is all in one complete piece and no join in it. So this is why I've just chosen to use Canvas Workspace online for now. It hopefully will give you the basic principles and then, you know, the person that asked about this can see hopefully the process and maybe, you know, try and work something out more suitable to them if this isn't entirely what they're looking for. So that's my number 18 and you can see the size of it here. So the first thing I'm going to do is right click and create a duplicate of it and just put it on one side for now. I may or may not need it, but at least I've got it and I'm starting off with the right size. So I'm going to, for the ease of the video, I'm going to go to the properties box and I'm going to fill it in with red. I'm going to give it a red fill and a red outline, just in the hope that you might be able to see it better. With it selected, I'm going to come to the Edit tab and I'm going to come to the Offset. Now again, the Offset is personal preference. It's you know how big you want the Offset to be. Looking at the picture that he sent me, the Offset was quite big. So I'm going to take the Offset up to 0 0.4 of an inch. 
I'm going to untick the box that says create an offset line around the outside edge only because I actually want it to create the line not only around the outside of the number but the middle of those ovals that are in the middle of the eights. So I'm going to untick that. I've got outward selected. I've got round as my corner type because the shape is circular and I'm going to say OK. Now this is two separate parts so I'm just going to left click anywhere on the page to deselect. I'm going to left click once on the number one, hold my shift key down and then select this number eight so that I get both parts and then drag it out of the way. And then this one, I'm going to come to the properties box and I'm going to fill this one in with black just to make it a little bit easier to see. Now, if I take the colour out of this for now, you'll see that those sections there are in the middle of the eight. But just to make it easier with a fill, I like to select it, apply the fill, and then just do a right click and hit subtract, and it will just punch those circles out. So I've got my eight and my one now, bigger than my original, but they're still two separate items. I'm going to select both, right click, and make them a group. Now I'm going to bring them over, and I want them behind the red element. So I'm, with the black one selected, I'm going to right click and center back and just send it to the back of the red numbers and position them so they overlap how I think he wanted them to look. So I think that's kind of roughly what he wants. So I've got the red on top and the black behind. I'm going to select both, right click, and this time I'm going to come down to remove overlap. So now I'm going to drag the 8 out of the way and the 1 out of the way. And this is what I'm left with, two elements. And these black sections here are the bits that would cut out and you would fill them in with your stencil. So I'm going to select both, right click and make that a group. So I can get rid of this one now and I can bring in my original and just fill this with red. So he wants to make these stencils. So basically, when they line back up, that's how they're going to line up. So what I would do from here is come back to the basic shapes. Drag out. A rectangle or something like that until it covers this number and then make a duplicate of it for this one. So then what I'm going to do, I'm going to select both elements, so the grouped partial number and the box and I'm going to go to edit, align centre and edit align middle and then make them a group. And that becomes your stencil. And then I'm going to do the same with these two. So edit, align centre, edit, align middle and group. So basically, cut this in stencil media or vinyl, whatever it is you want to cut. So it would cut this rectangle. And then you would weed away all the bits here that you see in black. And then you would stencil through here with your black paint, then you bring this one in, cut this again in your stencil media, what you do with this one, it would cut the rectangle for you, which will enable you to just have something to have a hold of to position over this, and then you would peel away the red elements, you would leave these ovals here in the stencil media, you leave them in place and then you would position this stencil over here like so and remember you've got your stencil ovals in here and then you would fill in this section with your red so now you just need to make sure that both elements fit 
within your mat. Give your project a name and save it into Canvas Online if you're using the online version. So I hope that's helpful. Please give the video a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe and I'll see you in the next video. Thank you.